So here we have a mixture of a strong acid and a strong base. Now the key to this is that the hydrogen ions are going to react with the hydro hydroxide ions in a one to one ratio to form water. So what we need to do is to find the amount of hydrogen ions present, the amount of hydroxide ions present, find which one is in excess and from that determine the concentration of hydrogen ions and thus the pH. So to start off with we can work out the number of moles of hydrogen ions concentration times volume of course that's going to be 0 0.2 times 25 over 1000 0 0.025 for times 10 to the minus 3. Number of moles of hydroxide ions in the same way. 0 0.1 times 0 0.035 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3. We can see that in this case the number of moles of hydrogen ions is in excess of the number of moles of hydroxide ions. So therefore once the reaction has occurred the number of moles of hydrogen ions in excess that are not going to be used is going to be equal to 5 times 10 to minus 3 minus 3.5 times 10 to minus 3 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 therefore the concentration of hydrogen ions that we have is going to be number of moles 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 over the volume which of course is the total of 25 and 35 60 cubic centimeters or 0 0.060 cubic decimeters giving me a value of 2.5 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per cubic decimeter from that it's very straightforward to work out the pH negative log of concentration of hydrogen ions it's going to be one point six zero